We see studies that show, oh, vitamin D doesn't affect heart disease or cancer, and, and omega-3 fats don't really benefit heart disease or cancer prevention. So we see these studies that are conflicting all the time. You know, I think I think those that, that happens for so many reasons, right, why those studies are conflicting. One is because we're, um, we're putting everybody in that same group, so we're not personalizing the approach. And so it depends on people's health status, how they're digesting and absorbing, how their, um, their nutritional status in general, are they deficient to begin with, what are their genetic needs? So that really impacts how somebody shifts or, or improves from when we give them those nutrients. So I think that one of the biggest issues with research is we're not looking at individual variations and snips in somebody's makeup, their genetic variations that yeah. impact what they need. Right. And so so it just sort of lumps everybody into one category. Yes. Yeah, so, so someone, for example, had like a vitamin D receptor gene that mm -hmm. made them require a high dose of vitamin D and you took 100,000 people and you saw them taking vitamin D, well, you think they're taking enough, but it might not be enough for that person. And if you exactly. actually took that subset and you studied them and you gave them the right amount to get their blood levels optimally, it might be different. It will absolutely be different.